Hey, greetings everyone, it's Gleekon, and I'm back again, bringing you another episode of Lore of Warcraft. Thank you so much for tuning in. Standing before us is Gleek and Soul, and she is currently guiding us through the section we're on of our Warcraft Classic complete walkthrough. Every quest is done, or at least covered, if it's not a class or race that we can, uh, that we're currently running. Um, she actually looks pretty cool with this mostly all black outfit with the black skin and now I've got her a little bit of shoulder pads. I actually think she looks pretty cool. Uh, last time we, well, we were running through the Barrens. Let's talk about that as we get into it. So stay a while and listen. Um, we're kind of just, I'm trying to chunk as best as we can. I think we did this, no, uh, what did we do? We went up and killed the Harpies for the first time last time. Uh, we've done some Centaur killing. Uh, but there's still plenty to do. We have to find Mancrick's wife and work our way to the south there. We are eventually going to get to where we need to do Wailing Caverns quests. Um, I want to run up and do this area, but we also have this set to do. So I think I'm going to start, we're going to go turn in Hezrul Bloodmark, which is a which is a quest that we were on um, we finished last time. He's the, I believe, the last one we really have to kill. Um, in terms of the centaur leaders, and I think that's going to open up counterattack for us. And then we can we can seg right in there to killing the harpy lieutenants, and then that will give us one more harpy thing to do. But I'm not as bullish on needing to go run and do that. Then I want to also in this episode take out Echeyaki. Go get Wenneke Bolt Bucket, do this Ignition Everything questline, and come back and do the Ashen Veil. That's my, as of right now, if we don't get derailed, that's the plan of action that I have for us. Um, not going to worry about going down and getting the Stolen Silver yet. Um, definitely not working, worried about Man Crick or, or finding his wife. She's going to have to, the, the bad news is going to have to stay uh, unknown to Man Crick for now. I, because before we move down there, I want to clear out as much of this as we can. We still, we oh, we do need to visit Undercity. Gross. At some point, Ugh. that's a pain in the beehive. Um, and we need to go to get the. Did we already go get the Amul? No, we need to go back to Thunderbluff too at some point. I kind of want to at least level up though before we run that stuff, and I think we can do that today. Especially if we do those quests I mentioned. Because we're starting to get closer and closer. We just have a couple that aren't worth really XP. Is Hezreal Bloodmark. Go with Is Hezreal defeated Glee Console? Strength. Yeah, that's a good ring. I commend you, Glee Console. These centaur are undisciplined and cannot focus their rage as the orcs can. But they are fierce nonetheless. And defeating them. Go for to prove it. To oh my. Okay, counterattack is where it's coming. This First of all, we finally have a second ring getting there. We still don't have a helmet, a neck, and of course we don't have trinkets. I don't have trinkets on any characters I have. Um, Alright, so let's see what we got here. Uh, we completed Hezrul Bloodmark. Is that's, the, that's where it's going to kick off when I look at the what are the quests, what's going on with the quests. Oh, let's just keep on expanding this. There's no end in sight for these bad boys. And then we are about to pick up the counterattack quest. So this this quest can go a lot of different ways. Um, it can go easy. It can be a challenge. It's really hard to say. Um, up, 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 up. We need. I can't believe angry sight claws. We didn't do that one yet. Hmm. Um. Looking, 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 looking. There we go. Hezrul Bloodmark and now Counterattack. Quite a quest here. So we're going to pick it up and give it give it the old college try. I do like this quest, and it would be an end of a chain for us. I don't know why I have him. I commend you, adventurer. These centaur are undisciplined and cannot focus their rage as the orcs are fierce nonetheless. In defeating them, your valor is proven. I know. I'm pretty much straight up awesome. All right. Strength. Counterattack. The horde commends your successes against the Kolkar, but the Kolkar themselves are maddened. 
I have reports that a contingent of Kolkar has traveled to the Barons from their home in Desolus to seek vengeance. My latest report was that even now, they move against these bunkers from the west. Face the Kolkar invaders and end their threat in the Barons. Kill them until their leader, Warlord Kromzar, appears. Defeat him and bring me a piece of his banner as proof. We're counting oh. on you, adventurer. Okay, so this is... Where does it appear? It's a level 20. It does not say that it is... Um, an elite. So what happens as soon as you trigger that... Now look, there are, are centaurs coming everywhere. Um, what you want to do is just try your best to kill them. So... You're just helping out with the whole killing process. He just killed one of our... He just killed a Horde Axe Thrower. That's messed up. So I'm going to just drop uh, maybe a Strength Totem for now. And what we want to do is we have to keep killing them, but we don't want to kill so many that we, in a way, like overextend our lines. So that's what we don't want to do. We want to keep using the... This is the best way to do this. Um... Yeah, somebody said time to die. And that's it. You're just basically trying to get yourself... Time for killing. Um, you just want to keep pulling them back. Because if you can loot them, you're counting as the killer for them, which is all good. But with spear throwers, it's a little trickier. Um, because they sometimes will stop... They're not, they can't be interrupted in the same way that the casters can. See, these guys are jerks flinging torches. Come on, why are you burning this stuff? Somebody cast a light. See, look, now they've already, um... There's a sorcerer behind, behind enemy lines. See, now this is what's happening here. The, um... They start to spawn back behind you. See, he look, he's at halfway there. So I don't think that is a uh, coincidence here. I think when he says halfway there, put this totem up here. So I think he, I think that's literally like we are halfway to our kills. Okay. Um, but I do think we are. I think the kills that you're getting are the kills that count. And right there, like where we could loot. That that's I interrupted the oh we just drew two. Okay. Okay. Oh, because I shot the invader. This guy's worth XP though. I, I like that. I'll take that. I'll take some XP. Okay, I technically counted as both. Look, there's another one. You little jerk. Okay, man, there's a little bit low. We're halfway there. In the words of Bon Jovi. Um, that's good, right? Look, there he is. Okay, so he is a 20 elite. So we're going to drop all of our totems. And do what we can here. Yikes, I might have to drop a potion wherever I can. We are... I'm not even close. So I need to get out of there and I'm, I died. So that sucks. So I... It caught me unawares a little bit, but... I focused on fighting the level... He was... First of all, he was a level 20 elite. So... Oh, you know what? Happy Father's Day, everybody. Forgot that, um... Well, I didn't forget it was Father's Day. Not in my real life, uh... You know, I've been texting the family. Um, started a little later today because I've been chatting on the phone with my dad for a while. Um, I did make that delicious pie last night. Uh, I did not, I held held back, held on to myself and uh, did not succumb to the temptation to crack into this yummy looking pie. It is a peach pie with a Pecan crumble topping, and it looks really good. All right, so my hope now is that this guy is still out there. That's our 
well, that's a good situation for us. Man, I didn't even use a potion. I didn't. I could buff up a little bit, maybe, if I have to. I have agility potions, but I also have scroll of agility, which is actually a little bit better. Um, there is a chance that he will, we will get, he'll be still there. But he wasn't even close to dying. So there he is. I, I do see him. So we are going to eat our stuff, eat, drink, and be, be merry. And I'm going to... I don't want the raptor punch, but we'll go ahead. I'm going to use all my, my stuff, my armor. Because now we have to somehow isolate that guy from his allies. Okay. So we'll use the scroll, and I will use the Rumsey Rum Light. And... We'll also... There was one other thing. This scroll. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my... Maybe... You know what? Maybe... Um, yeah, maybe the fire one's not the best thing. That might have gotten me into some of my trouble. Okay. So, yeah, this is what we need to do. And, and I think it might be better to kill his little... He has these allies. Ceremonial leather loincloth. Okay, so I want what I want is his allies. Because look, they die pretty fast. Now I've got him. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna try my best to. Showing that I've got my, uh... Okay, we're, I'm doing a lot better. Because this time he's not pulled. Look, now he just gained an ally. Great. Okay, so this is already going a lot worse. Because for whatever reason, his ally came over to fight him. Pop in a potion. Come on, bro. Oh, no, don't do that. He's a little bit stunned. I'm out of mana. Oh, no. Come on. Got him. But you need this thing. Oh, gosh. So we gotta run. What I need to do is get out of there and hopefully... Shoot me with lightning. Oh, don't do it. We need that banner. It's just, I was going to say, it's just one stormer. Whew. Okay. We did it. We did die once, but look at the difference of what happened that time. Um, we were able to kind of isolate him a little better. And now that we got the banner, it all disappeared. I have died after that banner dropped, and it, and it does stay there for a little bit of time. He says, the Kolkar invaders are retreating because we beat Hrethgar. Or no, we beat uh, whatever that guy's name is. Whew. It's tough. All right, so this is the end of this quest line, and we're going to be down to 16, which is great. Start clearing out that quest log some. Lothar. Do you have the banner? You have done it. You have you defeated have the Kolkar. I will be sure Thrall receives word of your actions here, adventurer. Stand tall. You do yourself. And the horde proud. Twenty-five silver is what you get for that. Redonk, straight redonkulous. Um, they could have done us better than that. All right, let's go up and get these har harpy lieutenants, and let's mark off that we defeated counterattack as well. So that one's done. Um, hold, uh, the harpy lieutenants I want to take out because that is now, if you look at our overall quest in order. Echeaki is our lowest one, which we are going to go do that as well. But Harpy Lieutenants is right there, I think. Um, well, no, the what, all that and Wendiki, there it is right there. It's pretty low on the list. Um, but all of this Echeaki, Wendiki Bolt Bucket, Nugget Slugs, all that crap, that's 
That's the bottom of our list right now. We're gonna go do that. Whew, that was a little challenging. So it went a lot better when I used all my buffs. Still came right down to the wire. Still had to use a potion. Um, I ended up... I killed one of his Stormer things and then I got lucky that he moved over and was kind of solo pulled. But then more people spawn in. So ideally you would pull him even further than what I pulled him, I think. I think the when I did it on my Druid, I think I pulled him like over behind some of the... One of those burning huts, and I was able to fight him without him, uh, without dealing with his adds. Once I once I kill this couple stormers, he spawns in with. But yeah, that quest is ridiculous because it's it's considered a level twenty normal quest, and it's yet you're fighting a level twenty elite. I think the reason that they're calling it that is because they're like, yeah, but you get these grunts helping you, but the grunts are almost always distracted by fighting the um, the rest of the, the endlessly spawning centaur. So it should be correctly tagged as a as an elite quest. All right, so we're going to we're trying to get deep into harpy land here so that we can fight the lieutenants which I believe are all slayers. I'm trying to do this without pulling unnecessary harpies. Luckily, they're all gray, and it's the reason this quest is so long. There's a Slayer right there. There's a Slayer right there. Alright, so we're going to start fighting these guys. Um, oh, let's get our weapon in play here. Uh, I think we need... Yeah, we need their rings. We don't actually need the killing of the Slayers. Look, this one's worth XP. I like that, too. It's, what's important is that we get the actual rings off their bodies, so I guess not all wear rings, unfortunately, but it's only the Slayers. I like that some of them are worth XP, though. You get, that's the one thing about doing this completionist way, you get so used to not getting XP that when you finally start cresting each zone into the point where you're getting XP, you're like, oh yeah. But hopefully it's happening near enough to the end that, um, you're not going to wind up hitting tough levels that, that uh, challenging again. I mean, having a little challenge is okay, like we just exposed. I'm, I'm fine with needing to die a couple times to get a quest down, but I just don't like as much forced group content um, in my journey. Sure, you've got to do dungeon quests, and the best reward, and what's also a shame is the best rewards come out of the forced group content. So it is a social game, and I don't despise it because usually you can get people. We haven't gotten a single freaking ring here. That's that part I don't like. You can you can meet cool people. Um, although I don't have any of those stories where it's like, oh, I've met lifelong friends on this. I have not done that. I, I know people have. I have not. Um, maybe it's because I'm, I'm, I'm at, you know what, there's a, on, ooh, a green leather bag, eight slot bag, hmm, bet you we can use it, yeah, it can replace this green one, heck yeah, really, we can't use it right now? Throw away these haunches of meat. Now can I do it? I need to get rid of one more thing. Sure, I'll get rid of these calico. There we go. So now we got the eight slot bag in there. Gained a couple inventory slots. I will take it. Uh, <laughs> but there's a... Um, this podcast I listen to, one of the guys always says, if you're at work or whatever, and um, you, you're you looking around trying to figure out who the a-hole is, and you can't find them, 
that means it's probably you. <laughs> so um, that's probably my experience with World of Warcraft. Like, man, I don't understand why. I've been playing for 20 years and I've just never made any friends on this game. Hmm. <laughs> I'm probably the cause. Which, uh, I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's the way I come off when I play. I don't know. Maybe it's just how I am in real life. Something to deal with on the on a therapist couch somewhere, I guess. Uh, I was also listening uh, same same thing as a, a different episode where they asked, I can't remember what they asked the guy. They're like, "Why do you think you know whatever that is about you? Why do you think that?" And the guy says, "Look, I don't know. I live a thoroughly unexamined life." <laughs> I think okay. There is, uh... There's some... Uh, there's probably some truth for that for me. I don't know, there's... So, I've, I've, I've not really done therapy in my life. Uh, not that I have particularly anything against it or anything, I just... But I did have, um, when I was in my 20s and I was in college, I did go through a really bad low where, um... Uh, and I've talked about this somewhere, I, I broke my back and I, um... I, it was just I was just having like a, a a tough time of it, and questioning as at that point in time, not knowing if I'm going to walk fully again or what what my capabilities were going to be. And uh, I was just at an all time low, and as part of being at the college, you know, you you got to have like student built in insurance, and covered in that, you could get like prorated um, therapy. And I had never tried it or anything like that, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try it out. Uh, and I didn't do it for very long, just maybe a couple months or something. Um, and it, was, it wasn't like a negative experience. Oh, I thought we were going to have our ring, our final one. Leather, two agility, three spirit. Bars are better. But one thing that the therapist did say to me was, I was talking about, you know, whatever I, I'm talking about on the chair where they're getting paid to listen. Although getting paid very, very low in my case. Um, and I was like, you know, I'm kind of like a person that is, wears everything on my sleeve and, you know, I'm pretty open with... Uh, my feelings and blah 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 which is how I kind of that's like my mental image of myself and then the therapist is like no you're not <laughs> like you know all of the talking of the diarrhea of the mouth that you have this supposed wearing things on your sleeve that's a form of like deflection and hiding the true deeper things from yourself and it was, however I, old I was at that time, 25, something like that. I'd never had that. I'd never had anyone say that to me, and I'd never had that thought before. And it was a kind of a, a realization moment for me. I was like, you know what, that's is. I, I have to go deeper. Um, and a lot of the times, uh, so whatever. I don't know if I learned from that. I don't know what. And I don't know how the heck we got here. What we did was we killed all of those harpies. We took their freaking rings off their talons for sure. And um, I doubt that this this is an agility spirit suit. Oh no, our Defius suit will be we'll be rocking that thing for some time. It's quite nice. This black and Defius armor. Um, other than that, though, I think we're we're good. We need to get. Get back to killing things that, that are worth XP. Alright, so we finished our centaur chain. It's done. We're going to open up the last step of the harpy chain, but I don't want to do it right now. And so now, after we drop this off, this harpy lieutenant's... Which is not going to open up another step for us, because we're at 16. We're going to go up... Now, I believe Echeaki... I don't even think that's the last in the line. I think that op she then sends us to go down to Tarajo. Uh, so that will sit there for a little bit. So that's not going to open up any spot for us. But then we'll go over to Wenneke Bolt Bucket and um, we'll 
go to the nugget slugs and we'll do ignition and uh whatever the other one is where you escort we'll, we'll bust those out but we're not going up for the cat's eye emerald yet either um those will kind of cancel out once we go back to ratchet before we do so we'll temporarily bloat we'll, we'll temporarily gain a quest we'll come back here and we're going to do the report to kadrak followed by the warsong reports and then we're going to actually do the warsong reports that'll just clear that out of our um quest line it'll get us a few more quests done on our overall list so we'll come out of all of this getting closer to being done um and again what i said before still holds my goal is to hopefully hit 24 before we're done with all of that and i think we will so that we can when we have to make a flight because we're going to have to go back to orgrimmar and we have to go to thunder bluff so i would like to be able to do our shaman leveling up at that point in time when we're doing that we could go ahead and get the uh Undercity one out of the way. Do you have six Harpy Lieutenant Bings yet? Justice must be dealt to them for their vicious attacks on the Horde. Excellent work, my friend. I think you'll go far within the Horde. Thanks. You did so well with the lieutenants and underlings that I'd like you to do one last thing for me. Serena Bloodfeather is the sister of a Harpy named Bloodfeather, who was slain by Rexar quite a while ago. Apparently, these attacks on the Horde caravans are revenge for her sister's death. I need you to slit her throat and bring me back her head. I want to place it on the next caravan we send out. Give those harpies something to think about. That's a pretty cool looking axe, but it's just below where we're at. So, we're still not to the point where we're going to actually gain um, our axes yet. So, we have now finished Harpy Lieutenants and picked up the final one in the chain which is serena bloodfeather bam let's find serena bloodfeather a little bit lower down the list she i don't know if she's an elite or not i want to on the way out sell and repair serena no it's a level 20 so it's def it's still in our list of quests we need to get done before we do Wailing Caverns, but it's not. Strength no. and honor. She's deep in there, but what about those pants? Any good? Oh, super close. Agility, Stam, Spirit. This is just one point less in armor. Strength and spirit. I'd be trading. No, it's like a side grade, and it's not really anything special, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that we already determined was no. 49, I think that that was a no. Yeah, no need. Sell that. Bam, bam, bam. I want to... Ooh, look at those wool bandages. Yeah, let's get that out of there. Nope, now, now they're green, so now I want to save those wool. For the horde. Because there's a pretty solid chance when we go back we can learn the next level of um, uh, heavy wool bandages when we, when we get there. I guess when we're running we can check that out. Heavy wool. Heavy wool bandage taught by blah 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 requires first aid 115. Yeah, so we're there. Okay. I always forget on that one. So now we need the heavy wool, which will take us to silk. This is your Sunday morning reminder. Did you remember to move over your laundry? Actually, we did laundry yesterday, so nanny nanny boo boo. Oh my gosh, my wife made chicken cordon bleu last night. We used to make it all the time. It's fallen off. Busting. So good. We do like a white wine. Um, this is just going to become a cooking show. That's that's what it should be. 
just a whole cooking show. I do love... That was my... Maybe not my first ever, but... Um, like, kindergarten me, I think, wanted to be, like, a fire fireman. I think I saw the nobility er, early on in, in helping others, and so I've always kind of had a respect for that kind of thing. Anyone that takes a, a, a job in that area, and uh, I just... Turns out I'm not a super physical dude, so... <laughs> the whole running around and carrying heavy gear and all that stuff never panned out for me. Um... Not that I ever really pursued it. But early on, probably late elementary, early middle school, I wanted to be a chef. Like, again, the workload of that sucks. Um, here's the bones where you can summon Echeyake. We have a horn. We're going to blow this horn. And Echeyake will come. Hello, Echeyake. This is a pretty cool hunter pet. Very common. Easy to get. You can tame this guy. I think I had him on one of my hunters. We can probably skin him too, poor Echeyaki. We got his hide, we are skinning him. That was the easiest quest we had left. We got a light hide out of it. Okay, so Echeyaki gone. So now we're gonna go talk to Weniki Bolt Bucket, which is, these are all just steps and chains. They're not doing anything for us really. Good. I'm tempted to wanna go up to that Serena Bloodfeather, bust her out. Because that really is the end of a chain. We'll go do that real quick. And I don't think we really have anything else sending us up that way. So I can go. we can go get her head and then come back and turn that in. That really shouldn't take us that much long. We're still, we're only at about halfway into our episode, so we still have some time. This piece won't take us that long. The Warsong Reports is going to take us a little bit of time, but it's because of all the walking we're going to have to do. Um, yeah, so, Serena, I don't know how she got a name like that. Is that a typical harpy name? Do you know any Serenas out there? Are they harpies? Um, I don't, I don't know that I, actually, I did know, uh, one Serena one time, years and years and years ago. Was it Serena or was it Sabrina? I don't know. Okay, take it back. I have no idea. But we know one, Serena Bloodfeather. Yeah, Selena, the musician. Nope, not a Serena. Serena? Yeah, this is bad. Um, bad uh, airtime filling. I told my imaginary GF not even to worry about shaving legs. Spooning in bed is much warmer in the winter now. Get married, you won't even have to tell her anymore. She'll just stop. That's not necessarily true. I think it depends. You know, we all prioritize um, different things. And I think all there's absolutely some things that go into the courting process that get dropped once you're married, for sure. And then there are, if, if the marriage is going to last, I think there are some things that have to stay. You, you keep some. So obviously you can't maintain full on all of the energies that go into courting when you now are shifting into uh, both maintaining a marriage, usually maybe some families getting involved, running a, a household, Focusing more on career, whatever it may be. So we're, I'm trying to, there's the, oh, that's a Witch Wind Fury. Maybe, you know what, I'm thinking of the Charred Veil when I think about the mandatory elites. That, I was going to say that's, oh, there's a, she is a rare. Okay, that's Sister Wrath Talon. Sister Wrath Talon's going to get my wrath. Come fight that. Hoo ha. Ah. And I fought her in such a way where I let the lightning cloud sit on my face. I hate that. Okay, that was a nice stun. Oh, I need to get all my totems going. 
She's actually a little bit tougher than I thought. Okay. You all going on there? Oh no, we got a second one. Now I'll just let them hurt themselves on my, uh... Oh, she'll crunch. She's running. She's running. No! Okay, I got her. And okay, now can I live? Or am I gonna have to drink my last potion to get out of here? Chasing me! I think I did it. <laughs> Where's one of my good roots? Let me eat that thing. <laughs> That's why we do it. It keeps us young. We gained 500 XP from that girl. It's because we still have the uh, the rest of XP going on. I still haven't checked in on my other guy to see if I get the rest of XP. I didn't. I didn't. Well, no, I did. I did play a decent amount yesterday. Because I'm still doing the thousand needles, and which is, that's how you catch up. So my horde character is finally catching up. So I was, I had the thought at the time. I'm like, man, there's just so. Why can't, why can't I? Did I already loot her? Did I loot her and get these pants from her? Those are straight healer pants right there. Sixty-five, sixty-five. I'm gonna keep the one I have right now. I like it. It's a little bit more balanced. But if I wanted to go full on healer, definitely some full healer pants. Where's this uh, Serena at? Um, but you look at Hillsbrad where I was gonna say that. Oh, crud! I was like, oh, this one's gonna aggro onto me for sure. Yeah, and and she brought a friend. The ambush. Um, but between Hillsbrad, which is like five quests for the Alliance compared to a, it's a full-on thorough zone for Horde. Um, way different there. Then you also... Now, to be fair to the Horde, they have no Alterac Mountains quests, so you have to kind of arbitrarily decide what you're considering Alterac. Because... They have quests that make them fight in the Alterac Mountains. They're just not called Alterac Mountains. Yeah. See, there's just these guys, even at Grey, they're still aggroing on me a little bit. Um, but that's so that closed the gap some. And then now that I'm doing Thousand Needles, there's it's a joke. Because there, it's a shame that I have to even call it a neutral zone. And it's due to two quests. There are two Alliance-only quests. One is a breadcrumb to the Shimmering Flats. Great. So that's annoying. That I have, And then the second one is, I think, a breadcrumb to Uldamon. It's an Alliance-only Uldamon type of thing. Other than that, the only quests in the zone for the Alliance are those Shimmering Flats neutral quests. So super annoying. Oh, I got a potion back. That's good. Super annoying that I have to... Um, I mean, whatever. I guess that's an exaggeration. So annoying that my spreadsheet has to be labeled neutral. Uh, but really, it's Thousand Needles should really be considered a horde zone. That Just like the Barons. Barons is a horde zone, but because there's some neutral quests, I'm able to, you know, I'm, I can still call Barons a horde zone because there are no alliance-only quests. But because there's a couple alliance-only quests out in Thousand Needles, technically, it's it's a it's a neutral zone. But there are also a lot of uh, neutral quests. The whole Shimmering Flats quest line is all neutral. All right, so now we're going to go. We've got Serena Bloodfeather's head, and now we're going to go finally talk to Winicky Bullet Bucket. Turn that one over. Um, that was a little bit of a detour, but now that'll be nice because that will end us. That'll buy us a slot. That'll bring us down to 15 once we turn that one in. 
Um, so while the harpies are done, we're really getting a lot. I don't know where, if I completed the angry scythe clause or not. Because if you look at my other, did we do the angry scythe clause? I don't think so. Maybe that's her next, maybe actually she does give us another hunt. Let's look up Echeyake. Let's see. It, yeah, there is one more. It's the angry scythe clause is the next hunt. Then, uh, right through an ornery one. Um, this person's talking about using bandages like in a raid or whatever. I think bandages are a weird thing. I've never been, people use them a lot, but I've just never, I think, utilized them really well. So they've never been really a thing for me. And then now that they've combined them in retail with tailoring, definitely weird. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I'm very busy with my work, Shaman. Unless you have something for me, it'd be best if you moved along. Oh, what's this? A Samo flange, you say? What's a Samo flange? Ah, but look at the way it moves when you handle it. And there's the sound of intricate gears inside. Oh my, I want to fix it and see what it does, don't you? I want to fix this Samo flinch, but to do that, I'm going to need some supplies. I ran out of 17.5 gauge nugget slugs, and I'm going to need a bunch of those for the work ahead. The closest place to get them is the Sludge Fen to the east. The Venture Company usually keeps them in their tool buckets. Go to the Sludge Fen and look in the tool buckets you find there, then return to me when you've gathered enough nugget slugs. All right, so we finished Wenicky Bolt Bucket. That is a horde-only quest, because this, from this point of the line on, the horde does not do it. Um, so we can check her off and then she picks up nugget slugs as the next step in the phase, um, which we do need, but while we're getting nugget slugs, this is the perfect opportunity to do, um, the ignition quest line. It's a two stepper. The first one you have to get the key. Second one is a little mini easy escort, and we'll get our slugs as we work on that. Um, I do think the escort turns itself into ratchet, and then um, once the slugs happen, it, that sends us to Orgrimmar. So I'm I'm still optimistic. We might not be able to get the War Song reports done on this episode, but we'll we'll, we'll be able to start it. And work our way up to Splinter Tree Post. Um, I think we get to go. This on on Horde, you don't really need to go out to Ajara. With Alliance, that's mandatory. Um, I, we've already done it, but we have to because that flight path is a connecting flight path, but the Horde it's not. I don't know what it would connect you to. Maybe Winter Spring when you finally go out there. So. At some point we'll have to, but the, the impetus isn't really super there. Splinter Tree is right there. All right, so the bolts are like everywhere around this little sludge thing. They're usually guarded by one to two Venture Co. Um, but what we are going to do is we're just going to go straight for the escort. And then if we get convenient spots to get the slugs, we're going to pick them up, such as this thing right here. There's a bucket just sitting waiting for us. You need 15 slugs, but there are multiple slugs per um, bucket. Okay. There's one, and now we're just going to sort of kind of make our way down here. Pony up some gear. All of my uh, buffs have worn off now. These guys are all gray. This is not a tough area. The problem is that they are, there are a lot of them. They're all over. Don't you run. And yeah, they don't drop anything. 
Oh, this is Overseer Glibby. I don't remember if he is... I, he might actually be someone that you need. I don't remember what the deal is with that. Barbed Club of Power. Okay, interesting. I don't see any buckets right around here, so... Alright. Uh, that Malachi is a waste of a spot. Ugh. So... I, I do, that's the downside, one of the downsides of, of I already had this thought, I was, I was like, we are going to be low on life. I don't suppose, I don't, see, it can't figure out because it's a robot that this is a goblin. I don't suppose Spudabow sent you, I'm in a bind here. I hope, I hopped in without realizing that I need a key to unlock the Shredder's movement book column. One of the other Shredder operators asked me if everything was okay and I panicked. Instead of telling him that I was missing my key, I told him there was some sort of mechanical problem. We need to get out of here on the double. Go up to the control room at the top of the derrick. The supervisor should have a key for the shredder. Help me out of here. All right. Um, it's not actually, if I if I remember correctly, it's not necessarily always at the top of the tower. It's just some dude on the way up will have it. Um, there's. I kind of want to get those bucket bubbles right there. Like, yeah, we're gonna have to probably fight that guy for it, but maybe not. Um, okay, see, so yeah, that was that one had three. We're already up to five, five of our 15. So this tower can be annoying because they spawn a lot. And they run like that and so that you can get a lot of chain kills. But because we're tackling it, it's a level 18 quest and we're 23, so... Um, like I said, uh, I don't... You gotta kind of look... There he is right there. So I'm gonna wait to be ready to get... Yeah, that's the thing. If You, you just have to be ready to deal with their... Uh, their running. And there's the supervisor. So he came to us. So he was not at the top of the tower. Now we just be ready for him to run back. Be okay. Supervisor Lugwizzle. I can't carry anymore. Heck no, nah, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so let's get rid of this haunch of meat. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do a heal. Now we can do an escort quest to get him out, and we'll still get the nuggies on the way out. I don't feel like we're probably gonna need that cloak. Um What's up? So ignition we've completed. Uh we picked up and Picked up and completed it in order. That's oh, apparently we can do ignition. We might as well. I might as well pick up the escape too, actually. And the escape. These two. I guess you can. These are neutral. Pick up complete. We're picking up the escape. Quick, we need to get out of here before someone gets suspicious. Right back. Yep, this looks like the right key. Let me just make sure I know how to work this thing. Hmm. Patient control. This regulates speed and stability, fine on movement control, just like this. I can't believe the venture company could design something this much better than ours. I gotta get this back to Ratchet. I suppose I'll learn as we go. Wouldn't be too hard. Just some buttons here and a lever or two. Well, you ready to go? Alright, alright, I think I can figure out how to operate this thing. Alright, so... Oh. Yeah, I see. I, I wasn't paying attention, but... That homeboy was was. Now he's a he's. This is a ah. This isn't right. This is a pretty easy breadcrumb quest. Um, FYI, you just have to wait on him. Okay, I think I got it now. Follow me, Lee Console. You just have to walk out of the pit. There is only one mandated fight. Like I said, there are all of these. He's actually, he, he does pretty solid damage in the Shredder suit. Um, you do have to worry about them running to chain. So if you have a plan for that, some kind of hamstring type of move. And, um, other than that, it's very short. He's, he's fairly hardy. I don't, I... I mean, knock on wood, I don't believe I've ever failed this one, ever. And I've failed pretty much every quest in this game. <laughs> so, 
So he comes out, and then he'll kind of right here at the top is where we'll get a um, mandatory fight where a few will jump out. So I'm gonna try to pull this one early because I don't want um, I don't want that to give us any problems. I got lucky on my on my trial run with my druid that someone in the guild that I'm in was just or, or somewhere was just handing out stacks of uh, mage weave cloth bags, which are twelve slot bags. It just gave me twelve of them. So that's it. So we have to fight these two. I went ahead and made sure to hit one and switch over into the aggro on the other. Um, so that he never had aggro. Alright, that was it. That was our mandated fight. Looks like we're out of the woods, eh? I wonder what this does. Now he's gonna spaz off. Run around. Great job, bub. Come on, don't break down on me now! Huh. I don't think this blinking red light is a good thing. Okay, then he says, Looks like you have to go ahead to Ratchet and tell Sputtermouth that I've wrecked the Shredder. I'll stay behind and guard the wreck. Alright, hopefully no one will notice the smoke. Alright, now we do need the rest of these buckets before we head back to Wenneke. Um We still actually have 10 minutes. We're doing okay. We're doing okay on time. There's a tiny chance we could still get the war song reports pulled off. Depends how long. Luckily that ghost will form. It does help us run a little bit faster. So if I can get these bolts picked up fast enough, then I bet you I can. Gotta love goblin death. You know, that's a, like a meme to, to kill gnomes. The horde loves killing gnomes. I love the sound of a yeah, dying goblin. Is he coming over to me? Yeah. Look, I just wanted your bolts, bro. Don't gotta be rude. You got a whole bucket of them. What's, what's more concerning is that you only have one to three bolts in a whole bucket. Why can't I look for the one full bucket if I only need 15? Okay, five to go. Looking for buckets. I think there's actually some on that little derrick over there too, if you really want to get wild, but I'm trying to... A lot of the times, there's look, there's another Chen's empty keg. I don't think we can pick it up again since we've already done it. But they spawn, like I said before, they... Dag. I'm, 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 not, I'm not standing to fight until I find more bolts. Those guys will lose interest. Um, basically, anytime you see like a structure, there's a chance. Okay. I knew I was going to aggro that guy. I don't care. Dang, there's some bolts over there. You got you figure we probably need three more buckets and we might get lucky. Here's one and there's one. We might get lucky and get what we need out of that. Okay, so we're now it's most likely gonna be a fail for us. But we might get a three bucket right here. There's a final one right there. Come on. This is why nobody likes the venture code, bro. This kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. A little low. Yes. Not that it really matters since the other one was right there. But... Okay. Let's go tell, give Wenneke Bolt Bucket all of her bolts back, and then she'll give us the next quest that we need, and then we'll be on our way up. We can start. We have about five-ish minutes, so we'll see how far we can get on the Warsong reports. I, I definitely want to do it because we are so close 
We need less. We need 1,800 XP. Um, and this quest is going to give us doo doo because it's so low level. Old nuggy slugs. So now we're going to be finishing nugget slugs. Turn that one in. Uh, yeah. Echeaki, we have to turn in next time. We're, we're, we're in that ballpark. We're in, you know... We're there. She'll give us... Something. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember if she gives us Samaflange Manual or not. If she does, all the better. We can always come back up this way. Um, but I really thought that the Samaflange Manual quest line was given to you by a guy in Orgrimmar, but maybe that's just where you turn it in. I don't, I, I, I'm not remembering right now. I'm having a little doubt for myself. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? You have the nugget slugs leaking, so I've been eyeing this same flange and I can't wait to tinker with it. Great, you got them. Now I can get to work. Well, that really didn't greasy work. Gun. I put some extra gauges on the same flange to measure the structural integrity. And they read the integrity at an all-time low. I could add some more dials and maybe a lever or two to try and fix it, but that might make things even worse. You should take the Samoflange to really Greasy Gob. He used to work for the Venture Company. If anyone knows how to fix it, it's really. You can find him at Nog's Machine Shop in Orgrimmar in the Valley of Honor. Okay, so we have really Greasy Gob now. Still keeping our questing going. This is quite a long chain for the Horde. You know, a few steps for Alliance, but it's easily twice as long. All right, so we do have to go to Orgrimmar. I was right about that. Um, I'm going to... We'll, we'll, we have plenty of time for running, so I'll do the spreadsheet in a minute to show that we're picking up really greasy gob. Um, we're going to do report to Cadrac right now. I believe that report was a sealed report somewhere in our bag. Uh, but he's going to trade that out. Oh, yeah, see, Samoflange, I'm still technically keeping that for now, but I think we could throw it out. I think I thought we had a, had a sealed report somewhere for this guy. Come on, come on. Was I, did I go too high? Dang it. Ashenvale is a divided land, but our most recent efforts have been very successful. We not only have an outpost at the Zorum Strand, but another just north of here called Splinter Tree. I recently deployed a few scouts into Ashenvale, and I need a runner to take them their orders and bring me back a report of what they have observed. Your first stop should be the Zoramgar outpost, along the coast to the west, at the Zorum Strand, to locate the first runner. You also need to stop at Splinter Tree Post to the north and along the road to the east near Ajara. You will find a scout and an outrider there. Give them each a report and from them get an update on their findings. Nope, we're not doing it in the order that he suggested. Um, doesn't really, really super matter because we've got to come back to him eventually. So we're just going to take this as, as far as we can. Um... You know what, actually, maybe that is what we'll do. Maybe we will go over to Homeboy and uh, we'll stop there because I can fly back and we can do the other two pieces on the next episode. Because uh, we don't have time to go there, fly back, yada, yada, yada. But we got a couple minutes, so I can maybe, hopefully, we'll, we'll spend this time, we'll update the spreadsheet. Um, and we won't even, maybe even do the report when we get there. We'll just stop, and then on the next quest we can we can complete the Ashenville hunt and all other little things that go along with it. Um, if you notice, we've got to complete this quest because we still need one thousand two hundred. Uh, we can probably gain some of this from exploration. 
because we are going to need to go around Astronar and we are going to get some points. When we go there. I don't really know what the best way top of my head to go around Astronar is. So we have these bundle of reports. You actually have to open them and then they give you a stack of three. Kind of weird why they don't just give you the stack of three to start with. Maybe it's hard to give three items. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have that worked out back then. Um, all right, so first of all, we picked up really greasy gob. So let's look up really greasy gob right here. So that's going to take us into Orgrimmar. Then we turned in report to Kadrak. So that's finally taken off of our list. Got to be careful as I get near Astronar. Um, that I don't do anything dangerous, such as walking close to it. Okay, and then that picked up the Warsong reports, which is weird because it so seems like such a such a um, Ashenvale quest, but it's technically a Baron's quest. So if you look at Questy, it tracks it the same way from Wowhead. And Warsong reports here, that's a level 19 Baron's Quest. We are making pretty good progress, so we'll turn in these on the next episode, and then I think um, probably Hearth, do some of that, those other ones. I'll probably sit on that Undercity one for a little bit of time, just bite the bullet and take that extra bag slot. Um, pretty close to Astronar, so we got to kind of work our way around. I guess maybe to the south is a little easier because I think we have to do it. If we go around the top, it's going to be that freedom to rule is a bit of an annoying quest. There is a road up here, but we don't want to stay on the road, I don't believe, we because we want to work around Ashenvale. Normally, I would go to the south, but I'm gonna we're gonna test this north path right now. Um, and we just we're just going to go to the Zorm Strand and log there because as of right now, we're a minute or two over. We discovered Iris Lake. That's another 175. So we barely need more than a thousand XP. Not fine. Ooh. So sad to be having the little mobs of Ashenvale yellow to me. Come on, be better, be stronger. Um, what is the next zone that we will do? Let's take a peek. Because we'll, we'll run the two dungeons, Wailing Caverns and Shadowfang Keep, and then... Yeah, Stone Tongue. We already talked about that. Stone Talon Mountains is fine, especially coming in at the level that we'll be at right now. It's not as hard as when we did it the first time we played this game. These zones. Um, ignition, I mean, uh, the probably the hardest quest is that, uh, I, that Miner's one. There is, with Horde, there is a little tough elite at the end. There's an elite quest that's challenging. Uh, it's probably... Pretty darn close to impossible to solo. So, whereas I don't think the alliance. What'd you get me with this stupid web? Okay, so this is the thistle fur. I believe there was a glitch in retail. They probably fixed it, but I think the thistle fur part of their. Their digital makeup is that they have a, um, they have like a, a thorns buff on them, I believe. And maybe that's something that, maybe that's always, or maybe that wasn't something that they picked up until Cataclysm. But the thorns buff, um, Something bugged out with the Thorns buff where essentially it... When they... Maybe it was something that was triggered by the level squish that happened when... Shadowlands came about. 
But basically, um, there was a glitch to where those thistle furs, the thorns buff was like 20, every hit that you would do with a melee character was like 25% of your life. Okay, we gained another 145. So we should be down around the 900 XP needed. Which that makes me more and more confident that uh, we'll get there just by turning in the um, Warsome reports. That's it. We just need to get it from the Warsome reports. We need to get the remaining XP from that quest. Uh, I mean, with 900 XP, I'm, I'm killing a couple mobs is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to... Um, if we didn't get it, I would just kill a, probably a single mob because we're going to get some XP. Level 19, it's green. I can't imagine not getting at least 900. <clears throat> but we're going to get a pinch more, and we'll get some also when we're exploring on that side. So... Boom, we just got 155 more. So 750 top sex P is what we need. And we'll get some more out here. You know, I didn't realize until like the other day that there's like a path that leads from Dark Shore into Black Fathom Deeps. It wasn't until I ran it like maybe a month maybe a month ago. So I played the game this whole time and I never realized that thing existed until about a month ago. Um, but I am enjoying this. We're making great progress. This is time flies when you are having fun um, and just cranking out quests like this is is my single greatest joy in World of Warcraft. When we can just keep going from task to task to task, um, so I really like that. I'm I'm fine with a little bit of challenge like we had on counter attack, um, like that. Give me some joy. But I hope everybody has a great day today. Uh, if you are a dad, I hope you um, hope your family. Hope you get to spend some time with your family or talk with your family. If we all, if you have a dad that's still with us, um, hopefully you got a good enough relationship where you got you can say hey, do some, or maybe even see him. All right, um, this is it. There's no inn in the Zormgar Strand, so unfortunately we're sleeping on the beach in the rain. But we have another episode in the pipe, 5x5, five five, and I look forward to seeing all of you next time on Lore of Warcraft. Peace out.